I think we are kind of stuck in the system because all whatever the number of years the world has been run by humans it's been run largely in a patriarchal manner right um, and largely in one kind of mode where having kids is the the uh, having kids and take, so taking care of them is the purview of women and if they want to work they have to be able to do both things at the same time you know and it, it's wonderful to see the the new generation of men actually say no we are going to participate as well that's great right but the power structures haven't really changed um it is still expected that when you come to work you leave your family at home you concentrate on work right and that's a little bit of a you're you're fragmenting a human being when you do that and it doesn't mean that you have to necessarily get your kids to work right but you have to think of a family as being integral to the happiness of your scientist not as something that you just take care of on the side right and i think part of it is because of the way the system has been run it's been mainly run by men which is historical it's nobody's fault it's historical a big thing i think for for women or moms is that and and scientists that yeah that you want to be both you want to be the perfect mom that does that spends a lot of time with your kid and um and see can follow the development but on the other hand yeah you want to stay successful and uh, um i think this is also a lot of pressure that is is on women in science which um which i think is what probably one of the reasons why there are less women that go the trajectory because it's not it's not so clear how you can combine this i want to be a role model for my girls i want to be a role model for so many girls in school i do teach when i'm in uganda i teach at the university so one of the things that really hurts me so much is like being in a class and there's only one girl i feel like where did the girls drop out where where were they left i mean it's like when we are born it's like more women it's like 60% women 40% men or boys and girls but when you reach up i mean when you advance in the levels of science you find very very few women and that like touches me so i'll have to be a role model how do we get rid of these sort of systemic biases you know i mean i've i've started the conversation with people who i know are in you know positions of power who i know have the ability to change this and you wouldn't believe the sort of excuses one hears right it's sort of oh maybe the science doesn't fit into the nih the scope of what the nih is doing and i'm like you know there's not just one or two black scientists there's actually thousands of us actually and how is it that our work will not fit into the scope of the nih and i i think sitting back we have to get rid of these preconceived ideas mm-hmm. you know systemic bias that just comes out in from people who are even you know advocates for us you mm-hmm. see like even even when they are of the best intentions there's still these systemic biases that need to be identified and addressed and i think universities on a whole are starting to have training in this regard but I, i definitely think there needs to be a little more there there's also a role for the institution whether that's the professor or literally like the university or the institute from more of a um leadership perspective to make it clear that women belong and if that's coming from the leadership or coming from the professor then um it's less likely that women will second guess themselves that and ask whether they belong there but we shouldn't get complacent and we shouldn't expect women to have to build it for themselves i think that we should demand that 
institutions and rules and policies and the way we do stuff needs to change more than it has already. It's not enough yet. When did you first start working? Oh, in the 80s, you know, I started working, I've, I have seen it. Yeah, I've seen a lot of change from really almost no women to more women. But still, interestingly, you know, there needs to be even more on the fat. As you point out, the pipeline seems to get narrower and uh, there needs to be more women and uh, women of color, too. That's another area that is really deficient also. So.